Hello everyone. Today's video is about surgical technique of arthrocentesis, also known as a lavage or a irrigation of an upper joint cavity of TMJ. So in this technique we'll be using sterile needles and sterile irrigation to decrease the pain by removing the inflammatory mediators from the joint, also increase the mandibular mobility by removing the intraarticular adhesions by means of hydraulic pressure from irrigation of upper chamber of TMJ. Now this procedure can be done comfortably under local anesthesia or intravenous conscious sedation depending on the patient comfort and the surgical field is properly draped and cleaned with the povidine iron particularly in the preauricular region and the ear. This classic technique to perform arthrocentesis utilizes double access to the joint cavity. This uses two needles one for injecting other for aspirating the solution. To start with a straight line is drawn also known as the canthotragal line from the outer canthus of ipsilateral eye to the medial portion of the tragus of the ear. Two points are marked on this canthotragal line, one point at 10 mm from the tragus and the other point at 20 mm from the tragus. Now the first needle will be inserted at a point of 10 mm from the tragus, 2 mm inferior to the canthotragal line. This point corresponds to the posterior extent of the glenoid fossa. And now the second point will be marked at 20 mm anterior to the tragus, 10 mm inferior to canthotragal line which corresponds to the height of articular eminence. Following auriculotemporal nerve block in the open mouth position, the two needles are inserted into the corresponding points. Now a 10 ml syringe filled with the Ringer's lactate solution is inserted into the first needle and flushed out. Now you can see the blooding fluid coming out from the second needle. As you keep flushing on, there will be appearance of the clear fluid from the second needle. 100 to 300 ml of Ringer's lactate solution can be used for the irrigation of the joint cavity. Now you can see that clear fluid coming out from the second needle as you keep flushing the irrigating solution from the first needle. At the end of the procedure, 1 ml of steroid solution is injected into the cavity space through the first needle to elevate the intracapsular inflammation. Pressure dressing is given. Post arthrocentesis, the patient should be kept on a soft diet for few days. Exercise of range of movements are started immediately and are continued for several days. Analgesics should be prescribed as necessary for the pain. The temporomandibular joint arthrocentesis is a minimally invasive technique with a high success rate, easy to perform and very much effective in relieving the pain and increasing the mouth opening. 